Walters. Welcome to my Rob's Oxford channel, which explores this wonderful city. I trained as an Oxford city guide over a decade ago and have provided tours on many themes and to thousands of visitors since then. I live in the city and I guess I can claim to know the place pretty well by now. Yeah. Although there's always more to learn about Oxford. During the COVID lockdown, I hadn't much to do, so I started to package my knowledge onto YouTube videos. You can go straight to them at www.youtube.com slash Rob's Oxford, or stay here, and I will give you a quick overview of what's available. There's plenty of videos on Oxford University and its colleges, of course, including a series on the iconic university buildings where I introduce the Radcliffe Camera and the Sheldonian Theatre. Plus, another collection on the most beautiful colleges, which already covers Magdalen and Christchurch. My most popular college videos features the three top ones, closely followed by the ten oldest. Prominent people associated with Oxford University are not to be forgotten, of course. So far in my Their Oxford series, I've covered J.R.R. Tolkien, C.S. Lewis, Cecil Rhodes, and three women who went on to become world leaders, Indira Gandhi, Margaret Thatcher, and Benazir Bhutto. As I record these words, Oxford has been crowned top university in the world for the seventh year running. So I've had a look at that. And I've also asked why it produces so many UK prime ministers. Are these connected at all? But what about the city itself? I love pubs. So of course there is a series on this very serious subject, including the resurrected lamb and flag and that hidden gem, the turf. Then, plunging beneath the ground, there are also a couple of popular videos on Oxford's secret tunnels. Not all the videos are of a serious nature. The story of the skeletal giraffe in the Natural History Museum is quite fun, and the story of the Invisible College quite intriguing. I really do hope you'll enjoy watching my videos on Rob's Oxford. I've certainly enjoyed making them. I make about one a month usually, although I do go away at times for fairly long periods, but. I would be very grateful if you would subscribe by clicking that subscription button, and also don't forget to click on that notification button as well. I'll end this by saying thank you to all of the people that have helped me to make Rob's Oxford Channel a success. In particular, Peter Madams. He's the man who recorded and composed the music I bookend my videos with. Thanks, Pete, and goodbye to all.